Okay, hello everyone and uh, welcome back. I'm Heather from Willy Willy Shape Sheep. You can find me on Instagram and on Etsy using that name. Um, it is Wednesday the 6th of April. Yeah, April already. But uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to get it out today or not, but um, I'll try it. If, if it's not today, it'll be tomorrow, hopefully. Um, I hope you're all doing well. If you're new here, this is mainly a cross stitch channel. Um, also do a wee bit of crochet as well. And if I'm maybe reading books or something like that, that's to do with uh, crochet cross stitch. I'll also share that with you as well. Um, but if you're coming back, welcome again. And you know what kind of madhouse this can be at times. Um, I do have Dorothy here that you might have seen in the last video. She's at my feet at the minute. She was almost on my head a couple of minutes ago. So anything's possible. I do have a list of everything that I want to go over and it does seem like quite a list. So I don't know. I, um, I didn't think it was going to be too long, but we'll see. Um, I actually haven't been working on too much. Well, three, one... Oh, I suppose four. I've been working sort of on four. I've been taking wee bursts of maybe like two, three days um, on each one, and then uh, moving on to the next one. So I've got I've got a good wee bit done. I've actually got more done than I, I thought I was going to. So that always helps. Um, I've also got a little bit of haul as well. Uh, I actually was holding off doing this because I had ordered stuff. To go with other stuff that I bought and I wanted to show it all at once because I want to get it all kitted up and sort of put into the projects and covered in dog hair or if it's not dog hair it's cat hair um so it actually arrived just before lunch today so I'll be able to show you that as well but um no other than stitching away and also watching loads of floss tubes I've I sort of got away behind from floss tubes and I am now catching up on them. So I thought actually I wrote down all the ones because I've got a few new ones that I had never, girls I'd never heard tell of. So I wrote them down just in case maybe you want to check them out, just somebody new, check them out yourself. But I'll be honest, most of them are the usual crew, so they are. Um, Actually, this is embarrassing probably, but I've only started watching Fox and Rabbit, Brendan and Karen. Everybody's bound to know them. I didn't, but I do now. And I love their videos, especially the Halloween ones. <laughs> they were really good with them dressing up. No, it was very, very funny and they are they're hilarious together. So I do enjoy them, so definitely check them out if you haven't done before. Um, another new one to me is Heather of the 20 Minute Stitcher. I um, only started watching her the other day, so I'm sort of going through a few of her videos. Good as well. Uh, Jilly, the Kansas City Girl in the Colorado World. Colorado World. Um, there's Lynn of the Lancashire Stitcher. Um, Pam and Steph just keep stitching. Uh, of course, Brenda and Laura, Brenda and Serial Starter. You could not watch them. Uh, there's also Angie who has, I think is it her second or third video just out, uh, Tiny House Stitcher. She lives in a tiny, one of the tiny houses, um, which is really interesting to see, but uh, her stitching, her finishing is beautiful as well. So I like, I've sort of been watched, I've watched all her so I'm caught up with it. Um, and also Nicola of Hands Across the Sea. So just like Nicholas stuff so always watch it and there's one um, she does just not cross stitch but she does she does um, close sewing and she does knitting I'm not sure if she crochets or not seems to be more knitting than yarny stuff is Amy Beth from the Fat Squirrel Speaks she's very good as well she does a wee bit of everything um, but no, very interesting and good fun as well. So it is. So just in case you were looking for somebody new to maybe watch on YouTube or Flush Tube and you have maybe haven't heard of some of them before. But um, 
No, so that has been what my time has been spent doing this past couple of weeks. Um, so what have I been doing? Um, I actually ironed stuff for you. So this is how prepared I was this week. It was a bit better than the last week, but um, no, I actually, I thought I'd ironed and stuff. Now there's one thing's not ironed because I was actually just work, working on it just before I popped this on. So it's still, it's still in the hoop. But the rest are ironed. I'll not want to put them back into the hoop again, but we'll see. So the first one is, as usual, my Fruits of Plenty. Um, I think I've done a wee bit more since the last time. So that's, that's it there. Um, I'm not sure how well you're seeing that. Ah, oh, there we go. So I've got a wee bit more of April done. I've still, still a wee bit to do, but um, I'm getting there. So I am. So no, I'm, I love that one. I just, it's just, it's so full on that whenever I, uh, I do it, I do sit like it does take me good few nights to sort of even see that I've done anything but I do I'm still really enjoying it I'm just where am I going to set this because I have so much stuff everywhere I'll set it there uh, the next one is uh, Blackbird Designs um, Halloween Eve Halloween Eve oh I'm just down so I don't think I'll get it all in so we're down and I'm on just on to the pumpkin and the cat. So there is a lot of stitching in that. It doesn't actually, you wouldn't think it, you sort of think it goes quick enough, but there is quite a bit of stitching on it. But again, enjoying it. Um, it did sort of shove the top of my head. Um, it's a bit closer than I usually have it, so I'm sort of not used to sitting this close. But um, no, the cat, I sort of, I'm fudging quite a few of them at the minute. I'm sort of finding counting as in my forte at the minute. But uh, no, the cat, its tail's a wee bit thicker there than what it should be, but he'll be fine. He just has a slightly thicker tail. So I'm getting there. I'm um, actually if I probably sat down and stopped fiddling about with it, I could have that done by next month. I'm saying that and I don't really I don't believe myself saying that either, but you never know. You never know. Let's see how it goes. And this one I haven't ironed at all. I've just ironed the bit that I've done. So again this is Barbara Anna. Um, Santa trip, Santa's trip or trips, I'm not sure which one. So I actually couldn't remember if I have stitched on that one since I last showed you, so I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure, but that's that's it as far as I've got with it. So again enjoying stitching on it. The only thing I have against that one is there's a lot of changing of threads so there is um usually I don't mind but I don't know I just and the, like the way all the little I don't know if there's snowflakes or just wee decorations or whatever but I think there's snow they can be quite time consuming and because they're not really well, yeah, you have the fours maybe together there, but that's as much as you have. So I find I'm just, the back isn't maybe the best. But nobody's going to see the back whenever it's all, whenever it's all framed. And the last thing that I've been working on, as I say, I'm still working away on it for I'm sort of joint stitching on it. I actually still have it in my lap stand and everything. I don't know who... Does anybody else use these and what do you think of them? I hadn't 
been using that for a wee while. Off that up. I hadn't been using it for a wee while. Um, I don't know. I just didn't have it out. Done. I don't. I don't know actually why I put it away. Like it wasn't that I didn't. I disliked using it. That I put it away. I just. I don't know. I put, put it away. And then I thought one night I must just take this out and um, give it another go. And it's brilliant. And I have to say my stitching has sped up because of it. Because you're doing one hand below, one above. You're not having to constantly do this here. So I do do like it. I do. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm sort of working on. So that's the Galliana Cross Stitch Christmas House. Now, I will admit it is frustrating me ever so slightly because no matter what I seem to do in it, I haven't counted right, but by the time that I figured out I haven't counted right, I'm a way, way on and I'm like, I'm not pulling that out. So there is quite a bit of fudging being done. Um, like there, of, you see the wee top there and there's fine and then I'm like one out here. But of course I didn't realise I was one out till I was down a bit. And I've stitched right across, mm, maybe not up there, but by that stage it was down here and I was just stitching right across the chimney. And uh, I thought I'm not pulling that out. So there is little mistakes, I think there's maybe a wee mistake, yeah, there is actually, it's not a think there is a wee mistake in the, um, the reindeer at the window. And then there's the big, well, it's a wee mistake, but it's actually led to me being out, is there a one, too many on the top of the mantle. So I can't do, when I get this done, I can't count anything off this mantelpiece, on this side anyway, because as I say, I'm one out. But um, everything else is fine. <laughs> but um, I do like it though, and I do, I do like it for, you just put your red thread in, and stitch away for all your worth and maybe that's my problem is I'm not thinking enough but that is what I was working on this week um plans for next week or for the next couple of weeks is just really to do the same I have a few new patterns that I'll show you in a haul um I would like to start them so I have got for one of them I've got stuff here to show you again from haul um, so I have sort of everything to start it so I might, might just do that and I have that away we fly as well from Blackbird Designs I might, might do it I, I have the threads and all here they just come today for it so I might start it as well, but as I say, you just carrying on with what I'm doing, mainly. Um, free charts, right. I have sort of seen a few online, and there's a couple that I've thought were quite nice. So if I can, I'll put pictures in here of them. First of all is my own free chart. So you can find it over on my blog. Um, I have the link below. Uh, it is one for England, um, it's got England and then the rose, as I say I'll try and put a picture in here for you if I can. Um, I'm doing one for each so there'll be England, Scotland, Wales and Ireland. So they'll just be released as and when I get them done. But they're free as I say over on my blog. So you can click the link for it. If there's any problems, let me know and um, I'll try my best to sort it for you. It took me a wee while to get it on, but as I say, I'll, I'll try my best. Um, the next one is from Melissa at um, Pinker and Pumpkin, 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 Quilting and Stitching. And it is two sheep. It's like, um, Say again, I'll try and put a picture on it, but it's got two little sheep on it and a pair of shears, scissors at the top. And it's 
could be made into a lovely wee pillow, uh, just something for Easter or for spring even. And Jerrine Jones, um, Happy Easter. So how could you not like that? Lovely little bunny. Um, I think this is available on her Facebook group, so I'll link it below. But um, as I say, I'll hopefully have a picture shown here of it. Um, so that's free, free charts. Now on to new charts that are out. Uh, Carolyn Manning Designs, hers are always beautiful anyway. Uh, so she has two that I've seen out. One is Marmalade. It's obviously orange and yellows. Um, it's lovely, so it is. So again, the picture. And the other is Wisteria. So you have the lilacs and greens and whatnot there. But uh, both of those are gorgeous and you can get those over on Carolyn's website. Uh, the next one is from Stitching with the Housewives. And it's the Wreath Swap 2. Now this one is gorgeous as well. Of course anything that they do is always really nice. So <laughs> it's not going to be anything but nice. Uh, these, these the wreaths are, are beautiful. So they are. And the way that they have them finished. The way they finish everything is to a T. So uh, you know, I thought I would share those with you. I liked, thought they were nice. Um, so that's really all the update I have. The only other thing I need to show you is haul. So I will show you it now in a wee second. Okay, I'll take the doggy out. <laughs> so back with haul. Um, I've got a good wee bit of stuff for me. It's a good wee bit of stuff. Um, as I say, it was to there's a few new patterns and then there's a couple of bits and pieces to kit up or just to finish kitting up. Um, other wee charts that I have want to get started. So uh, I will start with charts. Um, I got this one off Etsy. So there's a wee bit of glare on it but it's a Halloween one. Always like Halloween. But I like this one because it was so bright. And that one come from, it's called Halloween Mandala. Who is that one from? The World in Stitches. Doesn't show in there. The World in Stitches, so I got that off Etsy. Um, it just seems to be nice bright DMCs that they use, so that would be a good one to start. Um, the next one I have is from the Scarlet House and it's Pumpkin Spice Everything. So I've seen this and just thought, love that. I can't even mind where I've seen it at. I think it was possibly on Instagram. And I just thought, yeah, that's it. So I have the, all the bits and pieces till start it and have even the wee finishing thing and all so I'll give it a go. Actually just to go on a side note of it, um I put up on Stacy the 911 stitcher. She's actually another YouTube I've been watching recently but again trying to catch up but um she has a Facebook group which is very good. Um so I asked on it although I so um, I can sew my own clothes and stuff like that. I'm not, you see, to do stuff that looks pretty. No, it doesn't look pretty when I'm finished with it at all. Uh, so I put up just asking, could anybody uh, give recommendations for a floss tube that um, show finishing videos? So the list I got was Unreal. Uh, Vonna Pfeiffer was... Pfeiffer, I think. Sorry if that the name's Vonna or Vonda. 
but twisted stitcher and hopefully I'm getting that right <laughs> seemed to be was very popular on it um, there was lots of different ones there was ones I had heard of there was other ones I hadn't heard of before so I was watching a few of those so they do make it look really easy so chances are it's not going to be <laughs> but no I I, it's, I want to do this and I want it to look nice so I do, I don't, I did finish a pillow and it looks awful, I wouldn't even show you the, the finished product for it, it's so bad, but um, no I thought right uh, if I'm going to do finishing or you try to finish some of the ones I have I need to watch videos on it to see how to do it sort of half properly anyway. Um, because no, otherwise they'll never see the light of day again once I've, I've been done. <laughs> but I'm um, actually, the whole reason for that is I'm going to do a blog post on all the ones that show or that do finishing. So if you are interested in knowing how to finish or want to learn maybe how to do, um, what do you call it, like the fold? Um, I have free fold on my, I don't think that's right. You know what I mean, hopefully, or even just a simple wee pillow and stuff like that. I'm going to get all the names and put them into a blog post and links to their YouTube channels. Um, so hopefully that'll that'll help somebody. So it will. But uh, so that that'll be coming up in the next week. But I'll pop that onto my Instagram whenever I've it done. And the next one, this one I seen from Market, the Nashville Market. I seen this and I just thought. It was on top of my wish list. There was quite a few on my wish list, but this was top of my wish list because everything I do, like as you've seen there from what I showed you, I was working on. They're all big pieces. They're all or bigger. You know, there's nothing that I'm going to finish by the weekend. That sort of thing. So I want a few smalls and a few. It's just something that's going to give me a wee bit of satisfaction. Yes, I have that finished. You know that. That didn't take too long, you know, but because at the minute, most of what I'm stitching on, I don't see any end in sight at all. Um, so just something that I can pick up and I know it's not going to, it's not going to be forever that I'm going to have to wait to get it finished. And then also then this also brought me on to the finishing as well, but it is from the Scarlet House and it is the Needles. Sorry about the glare, but I'm sort of not taking the regular plastic. So it has got five little cushions or pillows in it. So I can't wait to get started them. I don't even know which one I'll... I don't know. I like the, the one at the front. The only thing is, there's a tape measure, and I have done a tape measure before, and it is the bane of doing it is... Uh, so I don't know... Um, I like just the vintage button one. I like it. I like them all. But as I say, I just want something that if I, if I started, I, I know I'm going to get it done quite quick and easy. So I have that. So I was very pleased with that come. That was off eBay. Um, I'll put who I got it off the they sell loads of charge and that one that one come from one two three stitch i couldn't get that over in here in the uk at all so that one come from one two three stitch but um it must have took 10 days so it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad um and of course i think their postage over to here is for four dollars 99 so you couldn't be bad to that uh, so that's all the patterns or the charts I got. Um, then I, as I said, I had ordered um, some threads. So that has 26 different colours on that wee bundle. I get them off Etsy. Um, they're saying Deb's knitting, no sorry, Deb's cross stitch. But when I'm looking at it, it's not the shop that they say here so I don't know I'll put the link on not unless she's maybe changing over I don't know but um, there's 26 different colours here so that's for the pumpkin pumpkin spice everything 
let me just yeah it's for pumpkin spice everything it is for away we ride and it's also for that um, needles as well so hopefully i have everything i need in there for all those um, as i say this all come today so i was happy it did for i wanted to show you for i wanted to get the kits put together and show you um then i just got a small piece again it's in the plastic let me see ah i'm interrupting all that it's just a piece of 32 count life beige lemon lemon although it says lemon look so it could be even wave but anyway it's just that now she put those two samples on the front um that's who I got it off on Etsy. Lilu, Lilu, I am hopeless at pronunciation of anything. Lilu cross or X stitch. So that's it there, got. And then there's two wee samples on the front, that pink. And then this one here, but I hope it's catching. There is a sparkle to it. Which I think is really nice and I think that one would be lovely. It is it's like a gold rainbow sparkle if you know what I mean. Uh, it would be um the fabric itself would be like a camel colour. I nearly actually would have a slight green I don't know if that's the sparkle that's making it have that colour or what, but I think it's lovely and I think it would be beautiful for, um, yeah, you can sort of see it there. I think that would be lovely for a Christmas, Christmassy one. Then I got some trim. Let me see. So it is Chanel, Chanel, Chanel trim. And then it's got these all across it. So I thought that was really nice. And that will go with, that'll be for the pumpkin spice everything to go around the cushion. I hope. So I got a meter, meter of it. I think in the pattern you just it's 22 inches or something like that but just get the meter and finally from Northumberland Sampler House again on Etsy that is their little just make sure I'm not showing anything I shouldn't be this camera will not focus maybe that way would be better Northumberland Sampler House and I got some claw straps. So this one, I'm sorry, I have my computer here, so I'm just gonna look and see. Caroline Scott 1821. So they're just all up close. There's 1821. It's like a fence and a border and a bit of a tree and wee bird and flowers, more flowers. And a fence and a couple of trees as well. So you're just, you get, let's see, I think it was 16. No, it doesn't say there, but I think it's, it's 16 you get. And they're just of whatever, there's different samplers. And then obviously it's just photographs taken of the samplers all around. I want to get my threads into some sort of, oh, there's, of the house that one's nice like that um i want to get my threads into some sort of order at the moment they're in a tin which isn't the greatest but um no so that's why i bought them i'm sort of going to start and get these collected up and some of the ones that i've got there i'll pop them on them and then that'll be the start of that get them and they're blank in the back, so you could use them for any 
any of your threads, you know, um, Weeks Dye Works, Colour Cotton, DMC, Anchor, Madeira even, is it Madeira? Could be wrong. Um, so no, that was that. There's one other thing I want to show you and I forgot and it's actually just in the cupboard across here. So I'll get that two seconds. Back again. So my daughter was super happy when they seen this here, but I seen this ten and I thought it was lovely. And then funny enough, I seen it on, I think it is Cross Stitch. UK, I'm not sure, it's on Facebook, um, which I'm in, and somebody had put up about seeing it too, so there's actually still contents on it, how, one, how, I don't know, but I got this just to keep my bits and bobs in, so love hearts, so I just thought that was so cute, so other than getting it just to have to put my, uh, my scissors and bits and bobs and that's the only reason I bought that. Um, there's also one, I see, there's actually one I seen in the shop this morning of a cream egg. It's bigger than that one now, it would probably be, I want to say small basket tan but it's maybe not even as big as that, but it's definitely bigger than this one. Um, that was nice and I also seen somewhere, uh, mini egg and it's about I would say it's about that size and it's as cute as anything too so I'd love to get it as well um as I say just storage so that was that so that's everything um yeah I have I've shown you everything uh hopefully everything will be in the box below uh, I'll also try and get the pictures of everything that I want to show you up. Um, I'm hoping I can remember how to do that or fi figure out how to do it maybe. But um, no other than that, that's everything. So I hope you have a great couple of weeks of stitching ahead of you. Um, don't go too mad. And uh, no, it's... Uh, It's going to be a busy couple of weeks, but you no, know, I'll get a bit of stitching done, so I will. But no, other than that, have a nice few weeks, and I will see you again. Bye.